Now, on your uh, DVD, you also uh, do impressions, or the half hour of impressions? Oh, oh yes, and yes. What, what, what impressions do you do? Yes. Very, very topical ones? <laughs> Let's hear a couple of your impressions. Yeah, you know, I'm working on a Robert Mitchell. <laughs> Come on, let's hear something. I, Bela Lugosi, uh, a Groucho. Uh, that's still, I, it's, I do the old Groucho Marx. Do some of the old yes, Groucho. Yes, that's the, when the live would, one. Yeah, well, yes, when he would pop up on Dick Havitt. So I remember... When we were filming A Night at the Opera. Now, we would use film uh, cameras, and cameras, they had, they would make movies with these, these cameras. And then one time, we were filming with Chico. It was a scene with Chico. And I was my brother, Chico. And they would film the two of us. And that's because they had a camera. And the film was put inside the camera. Now, back then, that was years ago. And that's how you would you'd pick certain periods of time. You'd, you'd call them a year. <laughs> or seven years, and, and various other, if it was less than a year, it could be a month, because that's less, and, and it would add up. That's the way they would do it. Now, does this impression go right until Groucho dies? <laughs> You just keep going. See, it's it's all the years. It's all his later years. <laughs> you do the whole time, but he, you keep going. He lingered on for uh, another fifteen years. Well, the the, the, the reason that uh, you are the finest at this is that you don't bring your fingers up to your lips as though holding a cigar. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I really appreciate that, you know, because the hacks they're afraid we're not going to know who you're doing, so they bring that they bring the cigar up. Well, that. Uh, that's like the everyone who does Nicholson and shoves their hair all the way back on their head. They put their hand yeah. on their head, yeah. Yes. Because that because Nicholson always held his hand <laughs> yes. on top of his yes. head. <laughs> <laughs> See, any Nicholson movie, he's holding his head <laughs> now, for no reason whatsoever. What's interesting what's interesting about that is that uh he, he the, even comedians that are bald will hold their hand yes. on their head because they think it's part of the... Because uh... some guys started it to make it look like uh, like like the uh, high forehead of Nicholson, like by pushing his hair back. And then everyone imitates everyone else's right, imitation. No one does an imitation of the person. Everybody does an imitation of the first person who did the imitation. Yeah, so right? like people would see Nicholson and they'd go, oh, uh, okay, he's the guy who holds his head. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, you claim, yes. you claim, <laughs> smarty pants, that you you have the Jerry Seinfeld that everyone does, right? Yes. Were you the first to do Jerry Seinfeld? Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Does it anyone was, other than you believe me? It was in a diner <laughs> in Las Vegas. <laughs> That I first You've done it in New York yes. before yes, that. Yes, I did it first in New York. But you used to do uh, you used to do Seinfeld before I, anybody I, cared who Seinfeld was. Exactly. Not that we care <laughs> now. <laughs> I don't want to give the wrong impression. Not that we care now. But if someone were to care about Seinfeld, you did the impersonation before they ca they, yes. they cared. Way before they care. And do you believe that anybody that does Seinfeld is doing your impersonation? They could be. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear your Seinfeld. Okay. You know, when I was <laughs> yes. in the cameras and the... <laughs> When I was uh, <laughs> years ago, that's exactly side. It was uh, we had two characters on the show named Elaine and Kramer, <laughs> and they would pop in. And they were extra characters. Let's hear your side. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, I used to do Seinfeld before anyone knew who he was when he was just working out at the clubs. Mm -hmm. And just to annoy him, I'd go up on stage and imitate him, and the comics would be in the back laughing. And Seinfeld wouldn't come into the room when that was going on. He'd be hanging out in the bar going, That doesn't sound anything like me. <laughs> I don't talk like that. He gives me this weird high-pitched voice. 
And I don't smell that way. <laughs> I think if they're laughing at all, it's a fact that it does not sound like me. But if no one knew who he was and no one cared, yes. then... What? Only the comics. <laughs> yeah. So got, you've never uh, been concerned about the audience. No, the audience would be sitting there staring, as they still do. <laughs> now, when I first... Uh, I think I first saw you in probably 74... When did you, you first start working the clubs? Uh, 1928. 1928. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, uh, uh, you used to go on at the end of the night yes. after everyone and do everyone's act before you, right? I mean, in a, in a oh, lampooning yeah. type yes. way, not in a stealing type <laughs> way, of course. <Yes. laughs> <laughs> and that's you did Seinfeld. And yeah. when did you first do your Robin Williams? Oh, I, uh, yes, I used to do Robin Williams out there, which was basically like, oh, look at that, oh, what is that, oh, it's Osama Bin Laden, oh, oh. <laughs> now, he was, now, Robin Williams was talking about Osama Bin Laden before, in 1974? Yes, way before Now, Osama why? Bin this is what's bothering me. With that known. information, Yes. why did Mark <laughs> not tell the FBI that they were planning he, a terrorist attack? He could have said, nanu nanu, and stopped the whole thing. <laughs> but no, he but didn't. No. no, he didn't at all. Now, we just got an email question from yes. Paul Provenza, oh, director okay. of your Instagram. Do you really have an email question? I, I do have an, uh, an email question from Provenza. <laughs> you caught me entirely off guard sleeping, though. His, and, his uh, question is, is this an actual radio show? <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're going to have to give me a minute. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll give you a minute. We'll come, come back, back to that. that. Now, the one thing that I heard you do once, yes. one, one routine I heard you do once, I've never heard you do since, and maybe since I have you on the radio, because yes. I can't ask you in regular day-to-day -day life. Yes. That would be humiliating. Yes. You once did uh, uh, George Harrison and John Lennon doing Who's On First, and I'm thinking now that they're both dead, <laughs> <laughs> and there's no fear of retribution, you know, because the only person you've done alive so far is Jerry Seinfeld, yes. and it's not like Jerry's going to kick your ass. Yes. <laughs> so, Groucho, you're safe, right? Yes. Robin Williams, you know, he can, he can get angry, but you're okay. But do you, do you do the John Lennon and George Harrison? What killed me about that was that to most American speakers, and I try to consider myself to be one, uh, to most of them, uh, the Beatles all talk exactly the same. It's just Liverpool. Well, do you accent. remember when they had the Beatles cartoon? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so all of them sounded like Ronald Coleman. <laughs> He's like, hello, George. <laughs> Oh, those bank robbers are after us now. We'll have to do something about it. But Ringo had a different voice during that, didn't he? Oh, I guess he was the only one with yeah, a different voice. Because he's the, he's the funny Beatle. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was the very, very funny Beatle, so you had to have a funny voice. To think that both uh, George and John are now known as the quiet Beatles. <laughs> 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 Can you do a little of who's on first with George Harrison and John Lennon? Yeah, you, you, what, well, the way you don't really lead into it is to say, hey, you know, I heard somewhere. Uh, okay. <laughs> you know what? You know, Gilbert, I heard somewhere that there is a rare recording uh, yes. of John Lennon and uh, George Harrison, who are both big comedy fans, <laughs> doing the Abbott and Costello classic, <laughs> Who's on First. Do you have a tape with you of that? Do you have a tape of that? Why, yes. Could you play that for us? <laughs> Why don't we hit that button? <laughs> There's a lot of leader I, on the tape. Yes. I'll, I'll hit the button after you stop drooling. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let's see. Take your time. Let's see if I remember it. Uh, John Lennon and George Harrison doing their beloved Who's on First Base. What's the fella's name on first base? What's the fella's name on second base? I'm not asking you who's on second. Who's on first? We're not talking about him. When you pay off the first baseman, who gets the money? Every penny of it. Why not? The man's entitled to it. Who is naturally... So you pay off naturally. No, we pay off who? <laughs> I, I thought that was going to go until one of them was shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, the one thing different between um, Picasso, Miles Davis, Stravinsky, and you is the other three had endings. 
Picasso, you know, in the Gilbert Godfrey world, Picasso is still yeah. painting. Yeah. He's still going, I'm not sure. I'll just do that flower yeah. again. <laughs> They're still. Maybe I'll put faces on the flowers now. <laughs> Big, smiley, happy hey, faces. You know what? I could paint a uh, boat over the flowers. Sure. Yeah. Well, there's that, there's yeah. that show that they used to have. What was that show where they, they did painting on. Uh, they taught you how to paint on like, oh, yes, PBS or yes. something. Who was that guy's name? That oh, I forget. That, that He's whack guy who's always talking like this. And, yes, always. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and he would paint. He would paint, and uh, it always looked finished to me. And me too. It always yeah. looked done. Like he put like two trees in, and uh, and I'd go. I go. Yeah, that's, that's I go. Fine. That's, that's fine. That's and then he go. Point. Now we work in the house. We go. Yes. Oh, a house. There yeah. could have been a house. Why did I think of a house? <laughs> two trees in a lake. That's fine for me. He thinks of a house. Oh, there's gonna be a door yes. on the house. There's a door on. The oh, he's a genius. Chimney. He's got a chimney. And then by the time he gets down to putting the hairs of the chipmunk, you know, in the front yard, it's like I'm going. I thought it was a bald chipmunk. I was fine with that. You know, everything looks done I, to me. I like the fact that he goes. And now we're gonna add like uh, a street of uh, skyscrapers here. And he would. He'd like tap. The brush once <laughs> on it, and it makes like a, like a perfect skyscrapers with windows. Yeah, but that's and because window wash that's because he <laughs> going by. That's what he tells you in advance. Yes. he said it's like a cheating at the Rorschach test. Yes. Let me show you a picture of your mother having sex with your sister. <laughs> what does that look like to you? And, now, and now to make ex- it worse. He'd show an actual photograph. Right, he'd say, here's a photograph of the New York skyline, and now here's what I've done with my brush. Boom! You have to cut. just squint a little. If you squint just a little, you can hey. see. You see the little. You see the little window up at the side. See the window washer. Here's a sandwich in his pocket. Yes. Boom. <laughs> We're going to uh, discuss painting more with Gilbert Gottfried. Uh, I think the finest comedy mind in the world. Gilbert Gottfried here for a whole hour with Penn Jillette and Michael Godot from Vintage Nude Studio. We'll be back after this, and Gilbert is going to get funny. (laughs) 